my name is Jonathan Doolin, and this is my first Let's Play video. I'm trying to get a little bit of practice for teaching online dur during the ongoing epidemic, and I thought this would be a fun way to a fun way to practice. The game here is Factory Town. Uh, you can see it's a beta version. It is available on Steam now, and that's how I got it. Um, but it's version 0.148b. The zero indicates that it is a uh, it isn't an official release. They're still working on the on the game actively. Um, you can also see there's a miscellaneous tab down here that you can discuss it on Steam and Discord. Here's your the credits. You can see it has a very small uh, programming team, um, so that's kind of interesting. And um, I don't have the music playing. It's a, it's pleasant music, but okay. So I just decided to turn on the music and see how that works. Um, it might be a little bit distracting though, because I'm planning to, uh, because I have the habit of pausing and uh, restarting the recording whenever I am stuck in the middle of a thought or can't think of anything to say. All right, what I'm going to do is just kind of get started start with a new game with the default settings. I haven't played around with the settings too much. I've started a couple of games in a later epoch. Uh, there's a tutorial automatically. It tells you to start by gathering wood. Um, I'm going to exploit something to gather a whole lot of wood really quickly. Okay, so what I just did was I selected all of these guys. I right click on a tree and then I tell them and then I right click on the base to tell them to deliver it to the base. Now what I'm going to do, the exploit I was talking about, I'm going to move the base, uh, hitting the M, selecting the base, and then just moving it over there. Those guys will, they get, those guys didn't lose the base, they're just continuing to deliver to it. All right, there's a cup there, you'll see this uh, shortcut menu down here, and there's actually four of these if you hit F1. F1 is this one, F2, F3, F4, a lot of other things that become available. You see this blank row up here on the F4. I'm going to mostly just use the F1 menu. Um, and the command that I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to go B, and this is the build menu, and there's a whole bunch of things you can do. Uh, I'm going to go to tools which I could just say T, and then I'm going to do select columns. The select columns will let me go from there to there. And then watch the wood. It says 58 right now, 59. It's going up very slowly. Suddenly, when I hit the delete button, I get all of the wood that was being used for that path. So uh, that's a little kind of an an exploit you can use to get wood very quickly at the beginning. It's not not that big of a deal because um, it doesn't take them that long to gather up the wood. And there's not really any um, dangers that happen in this game. Uh, as you go along right now, uh, there's not really a hurry aspect to it. Um, but you might, if if you're like me, you kind of feel uncomfortable with things taking time. So you like to pause it and wait and then do everything and then make make everything happen as efficiently as possible. Um, okay, but now it says build house. I'm going to build four houses because I've got plenty of wood to do that with right now. Um, and what I'm looking for in building a house is uh, some fruit, some grain, and some vegetables. Those are herbs, not vegetables. So I'm going to see if there's any place better where I can get all three. There's some carrots. Those are vegetables. Uh, grain. I'm going to look around a little bit longer with the pause button on. Okay, with the pause button, I didn't find any place where vegetables and fruit and grain were all together. So what I'm going to do 
instead oh actually geez I just found I just found it um, there's tomatoes um, which is counted as vegetable by the population in this game berries and a little bit of grain so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here pick the house and I'm gonna build two houses that are close to those things and then I'm gonna grab those I'm gonna hit the escape button select and then shift select to get the second house C to copy and then place oh shoot okay I move I put them in just a little bit the wrong spot and then I'm gonna do okay here's here's a little thing that I'm gonna be using quite a bit build I'm gonna pick the tool called select columns and I'm gonna select the columns like that since I'm going to use the select column tool a lot, I'm going to actually replace this option down here in the quick menu with, uh, with that select. So what I'm going to do is hit Alt. Alt makes the six go up here. See, without the Alt, with the Alt, without the Alt, with the Alt. Hit Shift to say I'm changing something, and then hit six. Now uh, that column select has become has has been put into that menu. So now I'm going to hit M for move, and I'm just going to move those two houses so that they're right in line with the other two. Whoops! I don't know why that didn't work, but we'll try it again. M, click, hold. Okay, click again. Right. It's not click and hold and drop. It's click click and drop and click and then click again all right so now we've got room for quite a few more workers those four extra houses gave us i will put at least one worker next to the tomatoes one worker next to those and one worker next to those hit escape we will select that guy by dragging right click on the tomato right click on the house drag right click on the berries right click on the house drag right click on the grain right click on the house okay so i'm going to select these so you can see what's going on all right as the uh guys are bringing the fruit gives two coins the vegetables and the grain bring one coin a piece, but they all bring one happiness. So as this guy comes over here, he will sometimes come to the same house. He will sometimes go to a different house, but you can see the happiness go up. And the happiness up here has an effect on your production. So, so uh, that's helpful. So I built the house. I can say a check mark is blinking wants me to build a path. So I will build a path right along my houses. I could also go ahead and build out to the, uh, go ahead and build all the way to the tomatoes and yeah, up to the grain so that they'll have faster walking conditions. Yes, that's a good thing for paths to do, give people a better walk. Now they want me to build a lumber mill I was already thinking about building a lumber mill. Um, oh, yes. Look here. You can see what is available to give them happiness. They want grain or bread or, or flour will give them one happiness. They want either tomatoes, potatoes, or carrots. That will give them one ha happiness. And they want berries or pears or apples, which will give them one happiness. You can also see they uh, would like some planks uh, or reinforced planks to give them a happiness. I don't think there's anything else. No. The houses are uh, not refined enough yet to appreciate higher priced resources. So 
what next? Uh, they want me to build a lumber mill. I click on the lumber mill down here in the quick menu and it's red. Why is it red? You can see down here that uh, there's something else that's needed. They need stone to build that. So I'm going to build a couple of more workers and they will grab stone and move it to the base. Now you can see there's somebody working on stone, so I'm actually gonna move the base a little bit closer to them. Give them a little bit shorter path to work with. Okay, so now they're, they're getting that. As soon as they have five stone up here, um, now they got seven already, I can build a lumber mill and I'll put that right here because I want it to be close to the base so we can take the output to the base. We have some new things that are unlocked. I use the chute and the scaffold block a whole lot. Other things are used some, um, but for now I will uh, put, how many workers do I have available? 10 of 12? Not many, okay. So I will put one worker on the task of, no, I have to, sorry, I have to select what the uh, lumber mill is doing first. So there's a big question mark there. I'll set it on planks. As a matter of fact, I think it comes up, it says, okay, it, there was a tutorial message there to tell you to set it on planks and then supply the lumber mill. He's, he's supplying the lumber mill. Boom. Okay, and then going through the tutorial, collect the planks. So, very nice uh, tutorial. It tells you everything to do to start out with. But it doesn't tell you anything if you do it before the tutorial tells you to. Now, upgrade a house. See, the house upgrade... Yeah, you can't see it there, but it requires, I think, five planks. Um, so we've upgraded one of my houses. Good. And your base can be upgraded to increase your house limit. When I upgraded the house, this went from 12 to 14. I can upgrade the other three um, by hitting the U button but I don't have enough planks. So what I can do, I think I'm gonna put more workers and make them busy on this project. Um, upgrade base. Let's do that. Upgrade the base. House max can increase by four. That means I can build four more houses. That's useful because the first level houses are cheap. All right, and we've got the grain mill available, the food market, and the workshop, which the tutorial will ask me to build all of those. So it says build a food market, but before I do that, I'm going to build all. I'm going to build four new houses, and with the C key, I can copy and then right click and get a paste. So you notice it actually made that a house level two when I pasted. So that one's already been upgraded. Um, what next? Build a food market. Okay. Build dings. Build dings. F because it's a D there and that's why. And then food market right here. Um, actually, let's put it here because that's closer to two different things. That's built. I'll hit escape to get that off the cursor. Supply the food market. All right, where are these guys? I'm going to pause it so I can grab them. You take the berries to the food market. You take the grain to the food market. Now, Okay, the food market is now supplied. Now they don't have to go to the individual houses. The 
food market will distribute the goods to the houses as they get to the food market. Um, if I move, by the way, if I move the food market over here, click, click. Um, oh, it is still supplying them. That's strange. Oh, it's like close enough to those roads that it is supplying them. Uh, also, hmm, that was a little bit of a surprise to me. Oh, because, oh, because that square, it fills in that square. Everything in that square is connected. Interesting. I did not realize that. I thought I had to be touching the road. Okay. It just has to be within a certain distance of those roads. Uh, but then, it looks like these houses are not connected to that road, so I need to connect that road. Okay, now it's connected to all eight of them. Good. What next? Grain mills turn into flour. We'll make grain mill. Build, buildings, grain mill. And the grain mill, I'm gonna do something clever with the grain mill. I'm going to build a chute coming out of the grain mill straight to the food market. We're going to set the uh, this guy on flour to rest for the recipes. And then I'm going to sell the flour by having this guy come deliver grain to the grain mill instead of to the food market. Now, what happens after he delivers uh, what is it, two or three? It takes three grain to deliver to the food market, uh, to deliver grain to the grain mill. Oh, yeah, it's got flour. Why isn't that being delivered? Oh, because the green arrow is going the wrong way. We need to rotate it. Now the flour is coming out into the grain mill. And you can see it uses three grain, but then it sells it for four. So you're making a little bit extra money, but it's not, it's kind of slowing down your happiness. Okay. Build a workshop. We'll go up here. Build D, B, D, and then the workshop. You could hit W there. Um, but here's my workshop. That allows me to build a wagon. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to select wood wheel on the workshop and in order to I'm going to move this guy up here there's my workshop he's building a wheel I'm going to build another lumber mill here so I can dedicate this lumber mill to building planks for the for the wheels because you don't want to stop building something because you're building something else so here's the tree going in here and the workshop is delivering to or he's delivering planks to the workshop and we'll have one more guy that is taking the wooden wheels to the base there we go so we'll have that built and they want us to build a wagon so build oh well we got to wait until we have four wheels um now we've got we want a worker that is named wagon you can't name i don't think you can name anybody in there okay supply shoot um right now i've got everything so close together um oh right okay so let's do that 
with the tomato. The tomato is, we've got lots of planks, so I'm going to do this. Okay. Yeah, let's see, do I want to, yeah, we'll just get rid of that, just go right through that road there, and we're going to be bring tomatoes to the chute. And watch this. Whee! So that saves a lot of time. It takes that tomato straight down to the food market where it can be sold. <clears throat> upgrade the base again. Hey, it's already ready. Okay, upgrade. And we've got the uh, new things to make. Build a general store. Okay. Um, yeah. Build buildings, a general store. So I've kind of blocked things off there um, with that shoot. So let me uh, readjust that shoot a little bit. What I'm going to do is um, select it. Delete, select, delete, select, delete. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to build the same thing, but three into the air. Now, I can hit Control, and what I wanted to do was just make that I, I use I hold down the control and then he won't build if I don't hold down the control let's see well oh okay if I don't hold the control it works just fine sorry about that okay now I'm gonna build the chute and check this out I turn once and then here I turn again now it will automatically build down from the from there but that's not what I want because the shoot doesn't drop things okay so instead let's build a road okay then have the worker go from there to deliver it to the shoot there we go now gravity can do its thing well, it's not really gravity because the chute is pretty level. <clears throat> All right, what next? Build a general store. Okay, now because I did that, uh, I can build a general store. Let's say over here, build D G. Is that the general store? Okay. No, that's the grain mill. Okay, cool thing is. If I make a mistake like that, I get all my resources back for the grain mill. Um, build D, and then I gotta click directly on the general store because I don't think there's a keyboard shortcut for it. All right, there's our general store. And then earn a red coin. How do I wanna earn a red coin? Um, well, probably got enough wooden wheels for now. Um, so let's uh, just delete that and start uh, build a wagon. Oh, sorry, that's a worker. B W. Oh, I can't build a wagon. Why can't I build a wagon? It's locked. Required Buildings Workshop. Oh, because I just deleted my workshop, which would have allowed me to build the wagon. Okay. Workshop. Okay. Back to where you were. Um, I don't know. Actually, make some cloth. 
Where's our... Ah, there's no cotton around. Okay, don't make cloth. Okay, uh, don't make cloth. Make more wood wheels. Um, okay. This is silly. I'm wasting, I'm wasting your time. Okay. Here, go in there. You deliver that to there. Okay, and now we have a wagon. Oh, I had the wagon from earlier. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to deliver planks to the general store. And that will earn us four red coins. And it will also make the places happier. Whoops. You can see the happiness of these guys by column select. And you can see that they get a little bit happier when those wood planks are delivered. The wagon delivers four things at a time. All right. Now where are we? Um, build a school. All right. I'll tell you where I like to build schools is near a water supply, but not right at it. Build dings school. This looks nice and flat. There's our school. Craft paper. Now paper, the reason I like to do it next to a water supply and wood is because paper requires water. Now do you see the little blue, um, the little blue area next to the coast? If I build my building in that blue section, it is supplied with water. Of course, if I don't have enough population capacity, that won't work. So I'm going to increase my population capacity by selecting these houses and then hitting upgrade. I just hit U. Okay, my population capacity has been increased substantially by increasing all of them to level two houses. Now I'm going to build that lumber mill I wanted right there next to the school. Okay. And we will select paper this time. And you notice paper requires water and wood. We will put our obligatory three guys down to supply the lumber mill. And we'll put one guy down who doesn't have any place to deliver to yet because this hasn't been given a recipe. I like to research woodworking first. Everything actually, uh, you can select more than one of these, um, but the problem is that it will distribute things evenly between those three, four things. And I'd like to get warm woodworking first because it gives you the barn. And the barn is a very helpful structure uh, because it allows you to put storage all over the map. All right, so now that we've selected the barn, we're going to take that paper to the school, and he will begin um, learning woodworking. Each time he gets a piece of paper, one point is added to the total. Okay, so we're crafting paper. Um, Complete a research. That's the next thing in the list. Um, the thing after that. Um, new, so we completed the research. We got barn, crate, and forestry. Or, well, we got the barn and the crate, and a new research became available of forestry. Uh, forestry lets you build foresters, which are very efficient at getting logs, but also cost a ton. Add a builder worker. Add a building worker. Okay, so, so for instance, notice this has workers one and 120% capacity, or 120% speed. The 20% comes from the happiness of 24, giving it a production of plus 20%. Um, I can make that lumber bill a little bit faster by hitting the plus button there 
to give it an extra worker. And then raise our happiness level to a 25. Look how close we already are to 24. What do I need to do that? Well, first, let me research masonry. Next thing in the list. You, I could, since, since it's researching so quickly, I'll just go ahead and select, select several recipes. Um, basic logistics, I would, and we will increase our happiness by one by doing what? Uh, well, what would make them happy? Um, oh, adding more houses. Silly me. Just eight houses. What am I trying to... Adding another couple of houses would give them access to more happiness. There's several other things that I could do. Of course. But this is... This is probably the easiest way. There it is. I got my happiness up to 25. Man, that doesn't fit anywhere. Okay. And that's the end of the tutorial. So they want me to find the four elemental temples and unlocking the, unlock their secrets to achieve maximum efficiency. That's going to be fun. All right. Well, that's the end of this video. Um, we'll see how this goes. Because um, it's kind of fun to make. All right, see you soon.